and I've got to say QPR have still been just stinking up the gas lately ain't they they've still been in abysmal form let's be honest and we have lost our last two games one being in the cup against Leicester but I definitely think we should have got something from both of them games if not won both of them games so well, I am going into this game with confidence so I'm going to go for a scoreline of QPR 1 Millwall 3 the um, away game on Saturday at uh, QPR. Um, to be fair, I've got to say uh, that Joe Edwards is starting to get things right. The football's been good. All right, the two last two games haven't been the results we wanted, but the performances have been very good. And you can see things are changing. Um, with a depleted squad, all them injuries we had, I thought Middlesbrough were under the cost for a long part of that game. And did they deserve to win 3-1? Not at all. Um, Maybe they deserve to win the game, I don't know, but they was no better than us. And if we're matching the likes of Leicester and Millsborough in this league, which we have done in the last couple of games, although the score lines don't um, suggest that, uh, performances have matched them, and uh, I, I can't, I can only see upward, uh, onwards and upwards. Um, so the game QPR, uh, I'm going to say that. I'm full of confidence in Joe Edwards at the moment and the players. Um, they're really starting to put things together. And I'm going to say we're going to go there, take it to them. And I'm going to say we're going to win. I'm going to go for a really comfortable 3 0. Um, normally, most people who know me on here know that I'm quite um, uh, nice with my score lines. But this time I'm going all out 3 0 Millwall. And I'm going to say uh, Nisbet to get one. What more to get one, and um, I'm going to say Nisbet to get the third. Come on, you Lions. This is my prediction for the Millwall QBR game this weekend. Well, if it's as half as it entertaining, as exciting as it was last season, when we beat them at Loftus Road, and that's the first time we've beat them since I was a teenager, that's going back some. Um, but... I'm going to stick my neck out and I'm going to say we're going to get another away win at QPR. I'm going to say a 2-1 win and I'm going to say a rare one here. George Honeyman to score a goal and Kevin Nisbet to score the other one. And before I go, I'd just like to quickly go back to the Middlesbrough game and just say that I thought we played really well, especially the first half. I do like the way he's got the boys playing. Um, how they went in one or at half time, I think they must have thought the sun was shining out of their arseholes. But that's what happens when you get caught in the back post, um, poor defending. Um, but, you know, unless you score that second goal in this division, you've got to be more clinical. The other team are going to come back and it's going to bite you in the arsehole. But I'm going to go 2-1 win, like I say. Come on, you Lions. Hi, right, mate. This is my pretty much prediction for the game away to QPR. On Saturday, I don't believe jo uh, Jaffa Tanganga will start the game because of his fitness. He hasn't played a professional game since February, a uh, competitive game, sorry, since February. Um, but he will probably be in the squad due to international clearance. But um, I am going to go with a win and I think we're going to beat QPR 3-0 away. And I'm going to go Zian Fleming to get two and Kevin Nisbet to get one. Come on, you Lions.